I want to show you a technique this time using acetate. Now ordinarily watercolour products should not colour acetate. Okay, so if I put this on here, this is not going to stay on here because it's a water-based product onto a shiny surface. It's just not going to happen. That's why we use a glass mat to do a lot of these techniques. And the thing is, even if I try to dry it, it's just going to wipe away. So what I've done here is using a stays on ink pad because I wanted this to dry quickly. I've stamped my flowered image onto the acetate. Now this says front and I'll put F on there for front because that is my stamped image. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over on the reverse. This is just normal acetate, so same texture both ways over. And then I'm going to bring in some of my Colal Tacky Glue. Okay, it's a clear um, PVC glue. You can pick this up from Crafter's Companion. Okay, so I'm going to pick up some of that. And then I'm going to add some of my colour to my glue. And then using a round brush, I'm going to mix these together. But can you see how vibrant this actually looks? Okay, so that's quite wet. And then what you're going to do is you're going to colour in keep it in the line so you're keeping those black outlines but you're colouring in the lines so again taking you back to school but because we've got the PVC glue or the Carlyle glue this time my paint is sticking to my acetate because PVC glue will stick to your acetate. So it's a different technique, great way of doing sort of dream catchers, different way of doing cards, mixed media to use on jam jars, anything you like really. So this is just a great way of doing it. It does need to dry naturally, you can't heat dry it and make sure you wash your brushes out straight away in water because you've used tacky glue there but if I bring in my finished image this is one that I've got in my technique book so this is finished but you can see that the paint doesn't bobble away like it would if we just added it straight to the acetate so that's another great way that you can use your watercolour products onto acetate so that's it wet and that's it dry.